Hello everyone, just me, Jeff Donnelly, JP Donnelly 8, Instagram, YouTube, just about everywhere. Okay, uh, so this video right here, I'm gonna, let's discuss a little bit about the food shortages. So, let's take eggs for instance, right? <laughs> Remember, we're in the middle of a global pandemic right now. There's food shortages, you know, and everything else going on right now. And the wisdom of the elected officials in Massachusetts is this. When we're in the middle of a global pandemic with food shortages and rapid inflation, we're going to tweak the laws in regards to eggs. We're going to tweak the laws in regards to eggs in a way that's going to raise the price of eggs for the consumer, which means me and you. So how did they go about raising the price of eggs for us? Well, what a lot of people don't realize is when you go to a store, you have several different varieties of eggs that you can buy. You can buy the regular eggs, which are the cheapest, which are factory farmed, you know, like basically with the hens are in cages and stuff like that. That way when they pop out the egg, it's right there and easy for the people to, you know, collect. Then you've got cage free, which means that they're all over the place. The birds are all over pens and people actually have to go hunting for eggs, which takes a lot longer to do. Then you have free range where the hens are all over the place, which takes even more time to collect the eggs. You have regular eggs, and then you have also organic as well, where they're fed off of organic grains and all this other BS. Well, what Massachusetts decided to do is get rid of the caged hens and make it all cage free. But what you have to understand too is when you have cage-free eggs, you're paying more money for the eggs because you have to pay more money and labor costs in order to collect the hen, uh, collect the eggs. Also, it costs more money and more feed to produce the eggs because you have to, you know, produce more feed in order to. Basically, when they're in a cage, the food is right in front of them. When it's free range. They have to, they wander around, which means that you have to put more food out, which increases the cost of production of the eggs because you have to pay more money to feed the hens that lay the eggs. So basically at the end of the day, what happened is the politicians in Massachusetts this first decided to do away with the cages and did the like, you know, cage free hens, cage free eggs, made that a law, which halted production of being able to ship in eggs from other states that actually do caged eggs and made it where we can only produce well purchase cage free eggs which there in fact means that we have to pay more money for the same product product because at the end of the day whether an egg is free ranged or cage free or caged they all have the same nutritional value. At least that's what I've read and that's what I've heard. Okay, so any donations can be made to JP Donnelly 8 at AWOL through PayPal. Any questions that you may have, JP Donnelly 8 at AWOL.com. And yeah, well, just so you guys are aware. I'm the author of Raw Motion and Political Repression, the true tale of Masters of Bohemian, exposing the corruption I faced while running for Congress as a 25-year-old in Massachusetts. Uh, I've got degrees in psychology and criminal justice, most of a degree in fine art slash art education. And, yeah. So, have a great day, and, uh, yeah. So, bye.